डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू हेल्थ यू इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे स्टेप कॉम के बारे में हाउ टू कंट्रोल द रिएक्टिव पावर यूजिंग स्टैटिक सेक्रोस्कोप एंड सीटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न हाउ दिस सिस्टम वर्क्स एंड बेसिक वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द स्टैटिक सेक्रोस्कोप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाई देयर इज अ नीड टू कंट्रोल द रिएक्टिव पावर इन अ पावर सिस्टम रिएक्टिव पावर इज बेसिकली Uh, you can control the stability of the power system in uh, in whole power system first of all reactive power when load increase for example when load increase then uh, the required reactive power increase and generated reactive power is less so stability of the power system due uh, to voltage drop stability of the power system affect so the, uh, it means the need to control the reactive power and the active power is controlled using the static synchronous compensator now let's see how static synchronous compensator works okay first of all for example this is generator and this is transmission line and this is the board so static synchronous compensator is uh, basically placed at the midpoint of the transmission line for reactive power compensation and to increase the reactive power uh the transmission line first of all here we will put the, the uh, static synchronous compensator the basic components of static synchronous compensator are uh, this is the basic coupling transformer coupling transformer is basically used to connect the uh, statcom signal with the transmission line signal okay. so this is and this is the voltage source inverter voltage source inverter is basically used to convert the dc voltage into the ac voltage and that ac voltage is basically provided to the transmission line to compensate the reactive power and to maintain the stability of the power system and next component is the dc source dc source this so that provide the dc voltage to uh, voltage source inverter and this is the basic control unit control unit control unit is basically used to reduce the errors and to minimize the time to regain the normal operation of the power system that's the basic purpose of the control system in a uh, static synchronous compensator okay. so first of all when dc voltage is provided voltage source inverter converts the dc voltage to ac voltage and provides the coupling transformer coupling transformer is basically uh, couples the two signals and the important point is output output of the statcom decides whether the reactive power is injected or absorbed from the uh, transmission line that's the very important point when output v output and v line when v output is less than the v uh, the transmission line voltage it basically uh, absorbs the reactive power from the transmission line to maintain the stability of the power system when output is Greater than the transmission line voltage, that it uh, basically uh, generate the reactive power to maintain the stability. Okay. So the important point is the basic concept of reactive power, where uh, how reactive power is generated. Reactive power in power system is generated because of the phase difference between the voltage and current due to the inductive and reactive inductive and capacitive element in the uh, task in, in the power system. For, for example due to the inductive element reactive power is absorbed due to the capacitive element uh, basically uh, reactive power is generated so that's one important point you have to understand so this is the basic working of the static synchronous compensator that uh, used to compensate the reactive power in the power system hope you uh, learn from this video thank you for watching